60% of Americans owning a smartphone and almost 40% a tablet or computer. Handheld digital devices have become an everyday staple in the lives of many Americans, but adults are not the only ones using those devices. Children are becoming common users of devices like smartphones and tablets, and while they may seem like another form of entertainment for your child, it could be doing more harm than good. News 18 Samantha Tiki joins us now with a look at what experts are saying about the potential effects that handheld digital devices could have on children. Samantha? Jeff and Gina, as a parent, I've experienced that temptation of handing my child a handheld digital device as a way to keep him occupied while I try to do something as simple as grocery shopping. But I spoke with two experts who say the amount of time children spend on these devices could cause long-term problems for your child. From tablets to smartphones to electronic games, handheld digital devices all seem to be gaining the attention of children. But according to Purdue Communications professor Glenn Sparks, the amount of exposure on these devices is having a negative impact on children. We are seeing uh, some symptoms, real symptoms of, of addiction. Uh, and long-term attachment to these devices that is not healthy. Studies have linked the overuse of handheld digital devices to childhood obesity, aggression, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, and delayed development. IU Health Arnett child psychiatrist Dr. Elizabeth Cole says she's seen the effects firsthand, but her biggest concern is the impact on social skills. I worry about social communication skills. I worry about being able to have kids learn how to play on their own. I worry about their imaginations um, and their imaginative kind of play. Sparks says too much time spent on digital devices and a lack of time socializing could actually be impacting brain development. Children ought to be uh, physically engaged with their environment uh, in as many different ways as possible. Uh, and so when we, when we sort of put a screen in front of them and encourage them to do this one kind of processing for long periods of time, we're really interfering with the ability uh, of the brain to build up this rich uh, network uh, of neurons that uh, really will serve the child far better uh, later on. So how much time is too much time? According to the American Academy of Pediatrics, ages 6 to 18 should only have about two hours a day on these digital devices. Ages 3 to 5 should only have about one hour per day, while children ages 2 and younger should have no screen time at all. Both Sparks and Cole agree that once the time is up, it's time to power down. I think the amount of time is on, uh, that kids are spending on these devices is on the rise, and, um, and I think that it potentially is, especially for early brain development, could have significant impacts. I really just urge parents to minimize screen time uh, you know, for the first few years of life. I think it's a good standard to keep in mind because it sensitizes parents to the fact that there really is no uh, no particular value that's going to come from interacting with a screen during those years. Spark says although limited time is crucial, parents should also be playing an active role. Uh, if the adult is there talking with the child, talking through that uh, experience, uh, and making sure that they're connected interpersonally, uh, that's, that's kind of a buffer for some of the negative effects that I think happen when you just turn the device over and you let the child sit there and look at a screen. As for parents who may think they're seeing the negative effects of handheld devices, Cole says the solution is as simple as talking to your family doctor. If they are realizing that there's an issue, um, I think, you know, talking to your pediatrician, talking to your family doctor um, about how do I set these limits with these devices, what, what can work for, for my child and my family. For more information on the American Academy of Pediatrics guidelines on digital usage for children, visit our website, WLFI.com. Tomorrow on News 18 at 6, I'll tell you what school officials are saying about the use of these devices in the classroom and whether it's been a benefit or just another digital pacifier. Samantha Tiki, News 18. All right.